Tonight, Americans are reacting to the soaring price at the pump, the national average overnight reaching $5 a gallon for the first time ever. President Biden again today putting the blame on Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine and saying the administration is pushing to do more. But the impact of those high prices is already changing how people live and work. Here's ABC's Phil Lipoff. Tonight, for the first time, AAA says the national average for a gallon of regular gas is at $5 in the U.S. Very furious increase from where we were just a couple of months ago when the national average at $4. Devastating for those commuting to work again. Connie Love runs an in-home care service in Huntsville, Alabama. We have had some uh, caregivers turn down some uh, transportation shifts. Uh, because of the price of gas. Even some first responders now changing the way they respond to calls. In Isabella County, Michigan, the sheriff posting on Facebook, we have exhausted what funds were budgeted for fuel with several months to go before the budget reset. I have instructed the deputies to attempt to manage whatever calls are acceptable over the phone. He goes on to say deputies will continue to provide patrol to all areas of the county. They will respond to those calls that need to be managed in person. That post has since been deleted. We reached out to the department to find out why, but haven't heard back. All of this as experts expect gas prices to continue to rise. Oh my goodness, this price has just turned me up. Everything is going up except our paychecks. The nationwide average of a dozen eggs, up $1.20 from May of last year. Coffee, also up $1.30. And a half gallon of ice cream costs 70 cents more. Today, President Biden acknowledging the strain gas prices are putting on Americans, but once again, pointing the finger at Vladimir Putin. It's outrageous what the war in Ukraine is causing. And we're trying very hard. We've got 240,000 barrels as well coming out, uh, uh, from other nations. We're going to keep pushing on it. Phil Lipoff back with us now. And Phil, these inflation numbers took some economists by surprise this week. And now the expectation is that the Fed is likely to take more action. Right, Wit, and that action could come this week when the Fed meets, expected to raise a key interest rate again in an effort to slow inflation. Though continuing to raise interest rates, some economists point out, is a high-stakes effort that carries with it the risk of causing a potential recession. Wit. A difficult line to walk, Phil. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.